Ladies and gents, the PS5. <laughs> it's upside down. I have one. I am ready. Yes, yesterday we got the Series X. It was the official launch day, but Sony sent me a PS5 early. I am so, f that's gone. That's where the scissors are. Do I need them yet? I just want to open, I want to play. Oh. We is ready. Here is the PS5 in its retail packaging. This is just, this is just insane. It's absolutely insane. I was tweeting Sony, I was asking, please, please, please. And they finally did. They, they actually sent me one. Huge thanks to PlayStation UK for sending this out to me. I need my scissors again. Open, 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 open. More flaps, more cardboard. Let me in. Tray of stuff. There it is. There it is. Here we go. Oh, oh that's... It's big. It's, that's what she said. It's big, but I expected bigger. Like, here's it on my torso. It's, it's, it's big. But I expect, I don't want to touch the glossy plastic. Here she is, the PlayStation 5. I am so ready to pop this in and play the new Spider-Man. I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff in this video, including trying some old games. Let's, let's put it next to the Xbox over here. Oh, actually, this generation is a little bit hot. I made sure that we're ready. The PS5 is clearly taller, okay? But the Xbox is like chunkier. That's the main difference between the two. And uh, I've got both of them. Ah! And of course, one of the things I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to this controller. I'm definitely, I was a bit skeptical at first because I do like my DualShock 4. Now I take it back, in pictures, <laughs> the DualShock 4 looks much, much nicer. But I would say in person holding them together, this isn't actually as dark as the play. So you know, it's got the black on it. It's actually more of like a, a gray. Yeah, on camera, it looks more like a black, but it's more of a silvery gray color which is quite interesting indeed. Anyway, I'm very much looking forward to this because if you didn't know, the triggers can adjust forcefulness and I'm gonna try some games to see what that's like. But basically for racing games, this means the trigger can be harder on the brake. Like the brake pedal can be stiffer depending on if your wheels are locking up or not. It can tell you, like it's, it's not the rumble like the Xbox, I think it has that too, but it's like actual forcefulness in these buttons. You know what, this feels more sturdy than ever. So I'm, I'm all for that. You might remember yesterday, I tested if the Xbox would fit in here. The PlayStation does fit. That's awesome. And here we are on the PlayStation 5. I have spent the past little while getting all set up and ready to go. Now, I've installed mostly PS4 games here. This is one of the PS5 games I'm very, very much looking forward to. Spider-Man Miles Morales. And we've also got Sackboy A Big Adventure. I'm a very big Little Big Planet fan. I'm looking forward to jumping in and playing this. Now, I am a day ahead. Obviously, the reason I'm early is because I got it from PlayStation, but I am early, which means most of the upgrades are not even out yet. So hopefully, in a day's time, we'll be playing Dirt Watch Dogs. I'm looking forward to playing those, and we will do so. Now, let's jump in to a bit of Spider-Man, just to kind of show you what's going on. This is the game right here, and I'm running this at 4K. Of course, you're gonna see it at 1440p, but if you wanna see some 4K videos, be sure to smash that like and let me know. As soon as this video goes live on YouTube, I will be live on Twitch. There's a link down below in the description. Check it out. And my friends, I will be playing some games and showing you the PS5. Let's jump into a brand new game. We've got all these. Oh, we can actually, oh, graphics mode, 30 frames per second, auto performance. Come on, give me those 60 frames. Well, this is weird. It's, it's smooth. He's smooth. He's beautiful. He's motion filled. I'm going to show you the beginning of this game. I don't want to show much more than that. I kind of don't want to put too many spoilers in, so I'll be careful of spoilers. Don't you worry. I think the games notify you if there's spoilers as well, which is great. Groceries for dinner? Sure, Mark. I'm going to do it for you. Gave it the dump. If I did that, I feel like I, I'm displaying anger almost. Oh, here we are. I'm so happy to be on my first... PS5 title. I mean, technically it's a build from PS4 up to a little bit. So this is just the very beginning of the generation, but I'm here. I'm happy to be sharing it with you guys. She a hand. I got you, baby. Super strength. You know it. Hey, that's the spider boy. That's really cool. I got you. 
It looks really, really good. We gotta leave. We gotta go. Let's get it. Do I get a play? Straight into the action. I'm ready. I got my coat on. It's cold. It's chilly. Spider- <laughs> I'm not much of a superhero person, but this, this Spider-Man game just, just ticked some boxes for me. I played the last one and I really, really enjoyed that. So let's see how this is going to go. I actually feel the trigger kind of pushing out a little bit. Uh, not particularly. <laughs> so I currently am playing on the 60 FPS mode, which does disable the ray tracing, which is something, it's something I'm going to expect to see the whole generation. It's going to be one or the other, or just forcing ray tracing, because ray tracing, of course, is like one of the big features of this generation. But look how buttery smooth this is. Uh oh. Uh, come on, I expected that to go this way. Uh, not the best call. I kind of expected it to go this way. That's it. All the criminals are out. That's how we do. The police car's even been crushed. <laughs> Who is in there? No casualties. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Who is in there? Before that happens. Hello? Hello, time spider. Oh, I see. I remember from the old PS2 game right now. Oh, all the prisoners are now escaping as well. Get in the truck, boys. Should I just beat them up? I guess I'm just beating them up. <laughs> I do like me some Spider-Man combat. Some next-gen PS5 Spider-Man combat. And there's Rhino again. Yep. This is going as I expected. Okay, now we're going to jump into something a little bit different. I just wanted to do, just get a little bit out of the way. Of course, this is my selection of all of games that I have purchased. And some of them are actually not available. So if you want, at any point, you can pause this video and have a see exactly what is not available. Some notes, obviously PT is now not playable, but everything else here is mostly playable other than The Division 2, which hopefully you get some updates on those games and they're playable. Now, Resistance 3, just so you don't confuse, this is PS Now. PS Now games also get listed on here, which is pretty cool. And of course, all the Need for Speed games because why not? There's also now the PlayStation Plus collection. So I've got myself a bunch of new games. Now, something to note, some of the early PS4 games had unlocked frame rates, which means Second Son is probably going to have a very solid 60 frames a second or more frame rate. I'm very interested to see how that's going to go. At least that's how I see it going in my head. I sure hope that's the case. Now, of course, there's no Gran Turismo game on the next generation as of right now at launch. So let's show you a little quick uh, demonstration of this jumping in, loading, getting to the business. Now, of course, Gran Turismo doesn't really take long to load as is, but we're gonna see setting up a race and so on. And I will say I've been quite surprised by how quick everything is on this. The network card has been upgraded. I can promise you that wireless and wired. I now get a much faster speed and I forgot my daily workout. Mate, this is old. <laughs> Great. That's what I've always wanted. Fantastic. Now, there's something that's interesting about Gran Turismo to me is that you usually have two options, I believe it is, in terms of frame rate and also visuals. And of course, with this, you could probably just do the visuals and have the high frame rates from it. The perfectly solid. Go over to display, prioritize quality. There you go. That's already, it's already set. In fact, it doesn't even let me change. Let's jump into a race with my Lexus RCF. Is this gonna increase the loading times of Gran Turismo Sport very much? I'm not sure. Look at those beautiful VBS wheels. I feel like that was a little bit quicker. I do feel that was a little bit quicker. I think some of, yeah, even that, it even let the car finish revving. So that's got a, a decent speed increase there. I wouldn't say half as fast, but maybe, a, th a third as fast, something like that. I'd say that's pretty close. Let's jump into this race, give it a go. This is in performance mode on Gran Turismo. Of course, there's a brand new Gran Turismo game coming very, very soon. And we're gonna experience that at some point. Ah, whoa! That master sounds meaty. Honestly, I didn't really play very much Gran Turismo to be able to really tell. <laughs> 
exactly how much better this is. But you can clearly tell in terms of the frame rate and the like, well, it's going to have the option that's grayed out. So you don't basically have a choice in it. You're using performance mode and it looks as best as it could. Astro's Playroom is a game that comes free with the console. You can actually remove it to get a little bit of space when you're done as well, which I would suggest doing. <laughs> but it is actually really, really fun. I'm playing through it right now and you can actually jump straight into... It's a very good showcase like of what really is in this whole experience with the PlayStation 5 and also the new controller, which I keep wanting to call a DualShock 5. Now, it shows you that the triggers and stuff, like, I heard about it, you know, you heard rumors and, and discussions about these type of features, but it's something you can't really talk about and explain super well. The triggers not only rumble just like the Xboxes, but they push out. They have like a resistance that they can set by the developers, which for an accelerator and brake pedal, like that sounds pretty good. Very much looking forward to that. I can simulate the clutch kicking and stuff on Need for Speed much, much better than they used to. I think very quickly, we're gonna jump into Need for Speed Heat and I just wanna show you the boot up sequence. I don't wanna show too much because I do wanna go in depth on this, but let's see how quick it boots into this game. Now, of course, most games are gonna boot quicker when they're actual PS5 games because they've been perfectly optimized for said platform, but we're going to jump in and we're going to see how quick we can get into a game. And nicely, that's one of the main focuses of this generation. The reasons we have the SSD is snappiness, speed, get to the point, boom, done. But of course, there's going to be some held, holding back by servers and the like, and also just gamers being used to being written perfectly for hard drives or being written in certain ways for hard drives. Whereas now, now they're just going to be able to make it so that it's easier, more direct access. The PlayStation's done things a little bit differently, so there's an extra chip on board to make the process a little bit different. Is this actually any faster? Need for Speed Heat is one of those that actually takes quite a while to load. And yeah, I'm going to say no. This may be a game that's actually not faster to load. I'm still going. Got to keep this in because... So when it's a little like I'm cheat, this still takes a long time to load. This, th yes, okay. Need for speed heat, so no. <laughs> it's still going in the background, that's cool. So this is the brand new menu here. And we're in, actually that last bit there took a little bit quicker, I think. But in terms of the majority of it, there really wasn't much difference. It's very up and down. But to show you a comparison, let's jump into Spider-Man once again. Let's click it. Let's see how quickly we jump back into Spider-Man. And this isn't even quick resume. This is just jumping into the game as we were black screen for a couple of seconds and we're on the train. Like, that's pretty cool. We're already in. Let's actually get into the game then. Continue and see how quickly we can actually get into the game from the main menu because, of course, that's... We're in. Like... The future is fast, baby! Anyway, that's my quick little demo of the PlayStation 5. I'm going to be trying it out for the next few days. I wanted to get it to you as soon as I possibly could this video. Just because, you know, I know you. I know you. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.